It's a trip of a lifetime for many of our students, if not all our students. It's an experience like no other. Something that's so powerful that I cannot say that I've ever seen a participant go through this and be unchanged. And people are changed in a pretty dramatic way. It just opens up a world of possibilities that they didn't know they had available to them. I don't think you can put a value on spending time immersed in another culture, seeing another part of the world, and experiencing a different way of life. So many of us get focused on our own routine, and to spend time away and to have new experiences, we can all take from that and bring it back to our daily work and our daily lives. You can see it on TV, you can look at pictures of it in the magazines or on the internet, but to actually walk the streets and see the homes where people are living and to have a feel for their communities is something that pictures can't relate. We do about four months of study before we go, learning about the country and its history and cross-cultural communication. Then we have to take away all that book learning and have the experience. We go to places that really highlight the struggles that people have had and are having and what they're trying to work with now. Western Cape, South Africa. I might be a South African black person who comes from a disadvantaged area, but the skills that I have are skills that you might use to better your life. You see, we come from different cultures, we come from different backgrounds. There's one thing that we have in common. We another country on our own. We need each other. I'm challenging you to soak and take and eat and smell and taste and listen and touch and feel everything you can about this experience. One of the reasons that we use Red Zebra, besides the fact that it's just a tremendous amount of fun to learn that way, is because they have a sophisticated understanding of the base cornerstones of leadership studies. We've got a very strong focus on engagement and involvement. So when we bring these different cultures together, we use fun, we use laughter, and we use music to unite people from various backgrounds. The young people from this community that we're working with in South Africa, in Montague and surrounds, they have a very difficult time growing up and staying positive and seeing the possibility for their lives. Most of them have never left this area, so just by them having this interaction with people from outside of their community is already giving them an insight into the world out there. But what was so beautiful to see this year was how quickly the two groups just bonded and connected. On day one they were already sharing vulnerably and very deeply with one another about their personal stories and their personal challenges in life. And I think on that level they just really instantly connected. I couldn't have imagined sitting side by side with local youth 
learning with them and from them and sharing the experience together. We really are students and equals with them regardless of our age or where we come from in our background. As a result of this program, we see over and over again that people do things they didn't think they could do once they get back, once they get in their communities. They take more risks, they're braver, they're empowered to do things at a different level. And the, the passion that they bring back to their communities, to their schools, to their workplaces, to the nonprofits that they volunteer in is just simply amazing. It seems to light fire under people. The end of the workshop, putting all the learnings to use, culminates in a performance in one of the townships. And that's, that's a pretty special time. The African participants, their families come, younger kids come, uh, people who are involved in the NGOs and nonprofits that we work with come. And it's a massive celebration of the sharing we have done. It's loud, it's passionate, it's positive, and it's just super cool. What's really exciting to see is the little kids who are now watching their older brothers and sisters and saying, I'm gonna do that when I'm older. So not only this group of young leaders will be affected, but leaders for generations to come. I would recommend to anyone who has the opportunity to work and study abroad to take advantage of it and to do it in a way that is helping to empower others is amazing. I can't wait to get home and share the experience and what I've learned with my community and think about ways that I can incorporate this into what I do on a daily basis.